Hello everyone, thanks so much for stopping by the channel. Please check out my website too when you guys get a chance, brucesall.com. I have all my astrophotography there and the astrophotography is about the only thing that I, I don't post here. Um, guys, something major is up and I'm going to prove it and I'm going to explain it that you all understand. Um, what we're seeing here, the sun with these objects and or planets or whatever stars that are going by it or that are throwing themselves in and out of the sun, going through it, the corona, etc. Um, I believe that like that blue star or dead star or planet that I found beside the moon a couple of days ago, if this is drifting towards, no, I'm saying towards Earth, that doesn't mean it's close even, but it, it has to be close enough to be causing interference in the sun so we, we can con confirm together with common sense that uh, the blue planet is inside our solar system possibly and now the unregulation of many of the planets you know what would happen is that uh, planets if if that blue planet gets any closer guys what's going to happen is that it could take either earth's place or it could take the moon's place the moon could shift entirely and leave and now let, is it not scary because the moon is shifting right it's shifting drastically and our pole one of the poles here on earth is shifting 40 kilometers a year so this is a major um, devastation this is something this is something unimaginable and it's something that we don't know what's going to do it is going to unregulate many um, many planets or stars so we could see for the first time in the solar system uh, stars that have been there for thousands of years explode or uh, move places change places now could you imagine what this is going to do to the magnetism of the solar system that means every single celestial object in the solar system that is in uh, range of this planet is going to change the temperatures are going to change there's danger, so much danger for us. We see the temperatures changing now on Earth. So the hurricanes, what are we going to do when these hurricanes get as big as countries? Bigger than countries. What if they don't stop? If that star gets close enough, and it, it doesn't have to be on top of Earth, if it gets close enough, it could be devastating to Earth. And this is what uh, scientists are looking at. Now, the defense team, is this team going to protect us from all the celestial objects that are going to come inside of the solar system. So this is going to be, even destroying them would cause major de devastation. Debris, the debris of it. It's unimaginable how many pieces that would be floating around inside our solar system now that would be dangerous, would become asteroids, comets, etc. What happens to a clock that ticks perfectly for days on end the minute you take off one of the legs or you tilt it a bit. It shifts and it stops. So we could get a wobble. We could see the planets wobbling, but how long would this wobbling process last? And do you, do you know what I'm talking about? I'm sorry, I'm jumbling a bunch of things. You see, if something unregulates the magnetism and the perfect uh, symmetry and clockwork of all the planets, they're already not perfect, trust me. They're less perfect than we think. The moon is never in the same damn place. What would happen? Well, everything would get un unregulated. And the stars um, and planets, of course, are so far apart. So it would leave us probably many, of y many years to see them approaching. Yes, okay, I agree with that. So long me, there's no imminent danger aside from something spiraling from far out in the Kuiper Belt between Mars and Jupiter. But I'm pretty sure that we're going to be okay. The Earth is cleansing itself. It's completely shifting. It's going through another stage and phase of its billion long year contract with the universe. And this is what's happening. And at one point, it is going to become a reality. We are going to feel some of the shift. How long will it last though? I mean, scientists are studying this. We can be pushed out of the solar system. The moon can be pushed out of the solar system. We could remain a part of the moon, but this other planet could take a place and now will be three of us, which means we'd 
uh, turn differently, it would change all the temperatures. It would be devastating. We'd plunge into the ice age or we'd pl plunge into uh, a hot surface like Venus. I mean, it, there's, not, there's no telling what would happen. And this is very serious because now everything's going to be un unregulated and we're going to start looking for signs and we're already seeing signs, the shifts of the moon. So now we're looking at the moon saying, hey, the moon shifting. Well, maybe it's us shifting. Maybe we're both shifting. Maybe we're seeing the moon not turn at all and we're actually shifting. This is what the tremors are, uh, you know, the tectonic plates. They're so pressed up against the San Andreas Fault. They haven't let go. They should have let go 20 years ago. And when they do, it's gonna. it could be devastating. And we're seeing holes uh, appearing everywhere in the world. And uh, the water's being sucked into the earth. And something's definitely, definitely, definitely happening. And these things are approved. I mean, it's happening all these past few months. More has happened on the earth that I've seen in my entire life. We can be sucked into the sun. The sun can pull us. We're seeing planets fly into the sun. Objects flying into the sun, like it being sucked into the sun. We could be sucked into the sun, pulled towards the sun. It would heat up the earth quite a bit, wouldn't it? And now hang on. Those stars and or planets that are coming towards the solar system or that are already in the solar system, what effect is it going to have on the area where those stars were? The same dominoes effect will happen to all the other planets and stars and everything will shift. And if the entire universe shifts, it's not that we're all going to, it's not that any of us are going to necessarily collide. It's worse. What's worse than planet nine, planet X or planet Nibiru coming through earth. What's worse is it just coming near earth. It's going to totally devastate and or for sure change every temperature throughout the entire world and i'd say throughout the entire solar system if there is an alien race you can be sure the proof will be now and we will see it because they will come to our rescue they will not let the earth be destroyed we're part of the artwork we're part of the universe earth is if anything happens to Earth, this entire solar system that we're in will be in peril. And that will change, like I say, the dominoes effect, the entire galaxies and everything else around it, one by one. And this, the other object over top of the moon, thought it was our tourist, but nope. It was not. It was in Taurus, and it was beautiful, but for some reason seen by the naked eye. No, not like this, but ever so bright. Another asteroid here at the bottom left side of the moon. Guys, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the interest in my channel. There's a lot going on. I have good techniques in finding um, everything that's around the moon. Basically, I can detect it. I'm not a Hubble, but I am not too far out. I can do a pretty good job. For those just joining the channel, welcome and thanks for taking the time to have subscribed. These are the website contributors. They raised $10,050. The money's deposited. We're waiting for the confirmation of it. And then we're ordering the telescope. A special thanks to WSO YouTube channel for interacting with me, for sharing um, one of my videos and at the same time contributing by um, sending so many great people from the your community thanks for sharing what's going on in the skies from other channels and uh, stay in touch Steve